Very welcome to Toscan Heartbeat video. My name is Soren Skupin from Tricentis, and today I'm going to show you how you can create test case design from modules. Let's switch to Tosca. I have brought an example of a banking service offering, which is called Express Credit. Let's say there's an application already in an implementation phase where an automation expert or a module expert could scan some modules. So we do have in our example four modules for customer data containing four module attributes, customer type, first name, last name, and customer number. And one of these module attributes has already a value range assigned, like the combo box of customer type. Following the workflow of the Express Credit, we have some credit master data for amount, duration, and interest rate. And we also have some predefined values for specific module attributes. We do have additional data for the credit. We do have a save. And we have kind of a verification module to verify a credit status, like a system message or a reply from a database. So we have a specific business workflow, which we can read in this example. And I would like to bring it to test case design from the modules. So let's switch to test case design. I do have a template test sheet, which I use for every test case design I start in Tosca. So this is my template attribute structure with a given when and then syntax. I will open this test sheet in a separate view. I will select my modules and then I can assign the specific module to the position in the test sheet. So I will drag and, drag, drag and drop customer data as a precondition for this test sheet, express credit. I will drag and drop credit master and credit data additional to the actual input process. And I will drag and drop credit status to the verification. That's it. When I go back to my test case design, I will rename the test sheet, let's say Express Credit. And before I can generate instances, let's have a look at the test sheet structure. We do have a given, which now contains a logical attribute customer data. And under the logical, we have the four former module attributes now becoming physical attributes within test case design. And every module that contained a value range or module attribute has now also instances in the test sheet assigned. I would need to toggle the character of the instance. For linear expansion, I go with um, private as a straight through. And I also do it for the other instances. So there is a specific business logic uh, telling me what is a straight through instance. I will just, for demonstration, go with this. So back to my test sheet. And now I can generate instances. I go to the test sheet select Generate Instances, Linear Expansion, and I will get my first draft of test case instances and combinations for test case scenarios. So let's check. We do have 16 instances as a first draft. I can um, adjust test data as it is available. I would need to add the verification for the specific test cases. Let's say the straight through should be uh, granted the credit status and the database entry should be correct. That's basically it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, 
at them below.